channel. Today I filmed this maybe not so eye safe eye look. This was a request and yes it is thundering, lightning and raining and it's craziness outside but I really don't have any other time to film so it is what it is. So if you hear that I apologize. Um, it was a requested look and I thought it would be perfect for the fourth you know maybe not like the stereotypical patriotic look but if you're going to watch any fireworks at night or you want to be a little bit more dramatic edgier you know I think this is a pretty good look for this red 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 eye like I don't know what it looks like on camera but trust me this is red now some of the products that I use like the red pigment maybe aren't eye safe I don't actually know on that one but usually if it's red it's not eye safe and you have to be very careful with the glitter in the inner corner. So just beware. I'm not telling you to do this. You do it on your own. So yes. Anyway, one more thing. I'm talking very funny, I think, because I literally bit the crap out of my tongue. And I don't mean like the tip of my tongue. Somehow, way back here, I caught it and now it's you know, you bite your tongue once and then you do it five more times. So I had like this huge spot and it hurts to talk. So forgive me if I sound a little funny. Anywho, if you'd like to see this tutorial, just keep watching. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is prime my eyes. I'm using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, but I'm only gonna bring it down to like to the crease and not as much on the lid. And the reason for that is because I'm gonna use a non-traditional eye product. So I don't want this to be too creamy for the other semi creamy thing I'm going to put on there. But I do want to make sure I get it into the crease because if not, I will have creasing from the lack of primer. Now, this is the fun and interesting part to make sure that my red pigment stays red. I'm going to use a lipstick on my eyes. Now, don't use anything creamy. Use a matte lipstick, and especially good is this one. Just heard a noise, I think it's gonna storm. Uh, this is Ruby Woo from MAC, a red. It has a slight pink undertone, but on me, it's very red. So, I'm using this one because it's not just a matte, it's a retro matte, so it's the driest matte formula that MAC makes. And I'm going to be applying this like on my lid to make sure that my that my red pigment stays red. I'll show you a swatch of on the red pigment on red and then on black. On the red lipstick, it was much more red, so that's why I wanted to use this. So I'm gonna start out by literally applying this directly to the lid. And I'm just going in a little short, little strokes here. I feel like I'm talking so weird. It like hurts to talk. Um, and I'm just layering this up and I'll take a brush and kind of blend it around the edges, but it doesn't have to be perfect because it's just going to be covered up anyway. Now I'm gonna take a synthetic brush. This one is from the Naked Smoky palette. I like this one because it's more stiff so it's easier to really work out the edges but anything that's synthetic will work. Don't use anything that's natural hair because it will soak up that lipstick. And it's gonna be really hard to get it out. And I'm just gonna go right around the edges of this and just soften that edge. Now the first time I filmed this, I used MAC shadows. So I'm gonna give you guys dupes, but I wanna use this palette just because everything is all in one and it might be a little bit more user friendly. So I'm going to take my MAC 242 and I'm gonna take the yellow shade up here and I'm gonna go in and go right underneath the brow bone. Now if I was using a MAC shadow, I would use a Blanc type for this. You guys know my love obsession with Blanc type, but that one is gonna be discontinued or pretty much already is discontinued. So brulee also works. Now on the 217, I'm gonna grab this shade here. And a dupe for this one is you could either use Rule or there's a new shadow called, it's this guy right here from MAC. And this one's called Up at Dawn. So that one would be really pretty to use. But I'm gonna use this as a transition shade. You're still seeing that red through, but it's okay because I'm gonna be bringing shadows all the way up there anyway. But just make sure you do the same kind of motion, going around in circles and softening everything up. 
I am also going to take this shade right underneath the lower lash line. And I'm using the same brush just because it's going to be a little bit smokier, so I don't mind it kind of falling down some. And if you're not amazing with shadows, which I'm not amazing, so that probably came out wrong. Um, but if you have suffered from issues with fallout, you should probably do your foundation first because this look will have fallout. Next, I'm grabbing this shade here, and I could totally be telling you guys the name, but I don't feel like going back and forth, so I'm not. And I'm gonna pop this straight into the crease. NARS pencil brush, and I'm gonna grab that shade again, and I'm gonna go underneath the lash line with it. This one, I don't want it to drag down as far, so it's better to have some, some kind of pencil brush. Now I'm switching to a 221 because this one is a little, a little bit more precise. I'm having such a hard time talking. It feels like my mouth is on fire. Um, and I'm going to grab this shade here. And I'm really going to be super precise with this and go right up against that red. And I'll probably have to do this again once I lay down my red. But this is going to make it a little bit easier to blend out when we're done and then back in, no extra product, and just softening that up with my 217. Now it's time to go in with the red. And for that, I use, this is called Basic Red MAC Pigment. It is a matte pigment, so you don't wanna use Fix Plus with this. And I literally get this stuff everywhere every time I use it. So I've got a sheet of paper towel down and I already know I'm gonna get this on my hands, but you know, it is what it is. And like I said, if you're not super comfortable putting on this kind of shadow with your makeup done, do your foundation second, but you know, mine's done. I'm gonna grab that 242 again. I like to pick up some of the product in here, pack it on my brush, and then go back in the lid and really make sure it's there, tap off the excess, and then, I am going to put a paper towel underneath my eye to catch any fallout. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna start tapping right on top of that lipstick. And you can see how red that is. It's like as red as my nails, it's amazing. But use tapping motions instead of swiping motions so that it really adheres to that lipstick. I always do two coats to make sure that it's super opaque. So I did that and now I'm gonna move on to the shadow. And I'm going to pick up a little bit more of this guy here. Tissue back underneath the eye, just in case when I go back and forth with this shadow, if there's anything loose with the pigment, that it doesn't fall onto my face. Precautions, precautions. And I'm just deepening up that crease again. I love this red eye. Okay, now my dumb butt forgot to give you guys dupes for the other two shades, so... This one I would do either wedge or cork, and then this one either brown script or Swiss chocolate. Sorry guys. So now I'm going back in again with this shade here and my pencil brush, and I'm really going to be packing this guy on underneath the lower lash line. Clean makeup sponge, and I'm just gonna drag up and clean up the excess on the edges. And then for a pop on this inner corner, I'm going to take I Like To Watch, and this is a Dazzle shadow, and guess what? They're so coming back. We've got a few already in the store, so all of them are gonna be permanent, and I'm so excited about it. So I'm grabbing this on a 239, and I'm just popping this on the inner corner for a really super fun effect. I'm gonna drag it over the first part of the lid too because why not, it's glitter. For my inner waterline, usually what I would do is brighten up this look with my chromographic pencil, but today I'm gonna do something different and I'm going to use Costa Riche. This is from MAC and this is a red and brown, so I'm just gonna pop this on my lash, on my inner rim, jeez, and really, really deepen up this look. Now I'm gonna add liner to the top lashes. I'm just gonna do just a thin line across. And I'm gonna use Trooper, the tattoo liner from Kat Von D. I actually went and got the full size, but I will tell you I was on vacation and I had I found a Sephora that had the mini ones, the 100 point perks. Yeah, I totally got 15 of them. 
yeah, so I'm good. <laughs> but I'm gonna do this off camera because I really suck at doing this and I will tell you what lashes and stuff I put on. So I'm gonna do liner, mascara, and then lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so for lashes, I use the Huda Huda Beauty Jade number 13s. These are still very difficult for me to get on. Like that took me a hot minute to get them on, but I've been told, I've heard around, and then Kelsey confirmed that if you keep wearing them, the more you wear them, the softer and easier they are to get on. So I'm gonna try this theory out. They're very pretty, but they are a huge pain in the butt. Oh! It is. 124, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is so dark outside and it's storming and I don't even know if it's safe for me to film, but I am. Anyway, so I also cleaned up underneath my eyes. I used diffuse light from Hourglass and then this just Wayne Goss brush and I just really brightened up some more, cleaned up any fallout and now I am ready for my blush. I'm going in with Gingerly because you know what? I have it in a hot minute, so you know, doing it. And I really, have been not contouring. I've got bl uh, bronzer on and I'm wearing the Hourglass Luminous, Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light. And yeah, some blush. I'm not do I have not contoured in two weeks. I might do it in a video every once again, but like, I don't know, I, found, I think I'm over it. I don't know, maybe it's just a summer thing. Now I'm gonna go in with, this is my baby. Um, this is, powder, the powder brush for the powder from La Mer. Um, I have heard too many things back and forth about this powder. Um, I've heard a lot that it's just going to be reformulated. So my hunt for a new powder has been going horribly. Like I, I just have not liked anything the same way that I love this. I found good powders, powders that definitely work, but they do not add the luminosity that this one does. So my plan is, they just came out with this brush. Like, why would you come out with a brush and then discontinue the powder that it is intended for? So I'm thinking that maybe they really are going to reformulate it. So until I know for sure, or until you really can't get your hands on it, I'm gonna wait on that video because I'm still gonna be looking around to find a dupe, but just so far, nada. And my face still looks, I just put so much powder on it and it still looks so, so luminous. Like, La Mer, don't do me that way. Don't do me that way. I'm going to highlight using something a little different. This is the Lorac Starlight Highlighter, and I'm going to use my Wayne Goss number three. I've had this for a while, but I've never used it on camera. So I'm going to use it today and just softly highlight right over here to the nose, Cupid's bow, bridge. You know the deal. Now that I'm more tan and I can wear darker foundations, I can see highlight on my face so much better and it's really nice. Okay, so for lips, <laughs> I'm going to use the Velvet Teddy Matte Lipstick from MAC. Now on top of that, I'm going to use Softly Lit from MAC. I've just been on this kick of matte lipsticks and then glosses on top. This is limited, but it is still available and MAC is actually having 30% off of like their past collections. And so this is still available. And again, Softly Lit. I'm just gonna pop this guy on top. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. And I hope everybody has a happy fourth. And if you choose to recreate this look, please post it if you're on Instagram and tag me. I would love to see it. All right, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.